Hey guys, my Adam Muñoz here at T-Mobile Arena and I'm here with Adele Fornarino, the new 55 kilo ADCC World Champion. Adele, what an overcome if you're talking about 2022 and now. There's a big difference between the last one and this one, that's for sure. We came in with a very different mentality, you know, very different training camp and it paid off like all the time and energy that went into it. I had this front of mind since the last ADCC, since my loss to, to Fion two years ago. This was, you know, exactly where we wanted to be. It was motivating me through the whole training camp and, and here we are, all the, the time and energy paid off. And I was telling you behind the scenes that I was super excited to watch your first match against Maiza. Can you can you talk about this match? Oh, they, they didn't start me easy. They started me right in the in the war of things. You know, the first match with Maiza, that was always going to be a really tough match. It's a match that I've wanted for a really long time. I think she's incredible. I have the utmost respect for her jiu-jitsu and for what she's done over the, the many, many years. I think she's an 11-time world champion. Um, so I was always really excited for that match, you know, whether I got it as, a, as my first match, my last match, it didn't matter to me. I was just really, really excited to get that match in the first place. Uh, tough match. I'm really excited that I came away with the win. And you want an arm hunter because semi-final, <laughs> then final, you got the arm bar. So can you tell about your semi-final first? Uh, I think, you know, as soon as I got attached to that arm, I, I knew I was taking it home with me. I was confident that I had really good upper body and lower body attacks. And I think that, that was going to be the pathway to glory is making sure that any position, any exchange was just dangerous for everybody else. And, you know, that's that's what allowed me to come away with that, that submission win in the semis and in the finals. I remember you telling on Atos BJJ on the men that you go hunt for head, for arm, for upper body, lower body and everything. And that's what exactly what you did. <laughs> exactly. I just want to keep every part of my game dangerous and I'm going to continue to do that. You know, I'm going to continue to keep working on all of the attacks that I have and, and all of the, the different parts of my game as well. And uh, how do you feel to be today? The, uh, I don't know if you were the only Australian of all time. I, I'm not sure, but I know today you were the only Australian to be a champion. So I'm the first ever Australian to ever be an ADCC world title holder. So that's that's something that's insane. That's that's making history. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm speechless on that one. There's been so many people, so many amazing people before me that have, that have had such incredible results at ADCC. So it really is an honor for me to, to come away with that win and be the very first Australian ADCC world title holder. And just to finish, how is your Duolingo going? <laughs> you are surrounded of Brazilian now. You need to know some Portuguese. <laughs> My Duolingo is terrible. I think I have, uh, I want to say like a 250 day streak and I know how to say Gato, I know how to stay Xavi, which is keys. I don't know why that one always comes to mind. I don't know. I, like, I'm terrible. I'm, I'm so terrible at, at Portuguese, but I'm working on it. And <laughs> for anybody out there that has a cheat code to learning Portuguese, let me know because I really want to learn. Yes, she was concerned if in the, the interview would be in Portuguese <laughs> or in English. I was like, no, it's okay. Yeah. Bon dia, that's better. Oh my God, that's better. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, congratulations. Now we'll be back to Australia and we'll see you at uh, back to Australia, back home for a little bit, just to spend some time with my family. I spent a, a lot of time overseas recently, so I'm just, you know, ready to ready to go back home to Australia, ready to just kind of settle in with my family and then, you know, start reevaluating and see what's next.